Land plays a unique role of bridging those two uh, differing histories, you know, what used to be called the two solitudes. Um, the English-speaking community in Quebec has the highest percentage of artists of any community in Canada, and that includes Francophones in Quebec, Anglophones outside Quebec. Artists can play a role of bridging the two stories, of telling the stories, of putting forward a positive face, and I could give two examples of that. One was when Arcade Fire, who actually are one of our RAVE project members, uh, won the Grammy Award a couple of years ago. The National Assembly of Quebec actually were so excited about the news that they passed uh, a unanimous resolution um, recognizing the contribution of artists, and they specified Anglophone and Francophone as ambassadors for Quebec culture. That was a very, very important moment to underline the importance of English language arts within Quebec, and so we do a lot about promoting that kind of story. The other event, which is much more recent, there was a benefit concert for Denis Blanchette, who was killed, and half of the artists were Anglophones. And they, they presented the very, very positive face of Quebec. They all spoke very, very well in French. Several of them sang in French. And it just demonstrated how artists can break down those old barriers and perform the role of bridging communities and building, uh, building a shared vision.